my testimony relates to this scripture. This is the best one I could find that basically describes it. So it's from Psalms 46, 1 through 3. And it says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give away and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea through its waters, roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. So I feel like at this point in my life, it's just best to trust God because I know sometimes I'm the type of person I really worry and I think that's the part that God is really helping and guiding me through is just to not worry so much and just pray about it because in the end he's going to control what happens so I feel like as of right now in my life it's just about God guiding me and so I feel like that scripture relates the most to what's going on because it's basically saying that God is going to guide you through anything no matter what so you don't need to really stress about it and just follow what he says and you'll be fine because I just feel like that's the best way to live instead of worrying about something just give it to God and I feel like that's my testimony that's what he's been helping me with and I just feel like that's the best way to live just give it to God and let him fix it and help us and guide us so hey guys today I'm gonna be sharing with y'all the parable of the good Samaritan and behold a certain lawyer stood up and testing him saying teacher what shall I do to inherit eternal life he said to him what is written in the law what is your reading of it so he answered and said, You shall love the Lord with your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered rightly. Do this, and you will live. But he, wanting to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Then Jesus answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a certain priest came down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Likewise, a Levite, when he arrived at the place, came and looked, and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. So he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. And he set him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. On the next day, when he departed, he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said to him, Take care of him, and whatever you, more you spend when I come again, I will repay you. So which of these three do you think was the neighbor to him who fell among the thieves? And he said, He who showed him mercy on him. Then Jesus said to him, go and do good likewise. Um, during this time, we should be a good neighbor and a good Samaritan and stay home and help all our healthcare workers do their job and not have to give them extra work to do. Hey guys, I just wanted to talk about um, a little testimony real quick about my walk with God. Um, right now, personally, I'm confused. I have a lot going on right now. Um, I don't have a job. I don't have a school to go to. You know, it's hard for me to do the day-to-day -day things that I used to be able to do. So I've been kind of asking God, like, you know, what's the purpose of all this going on? Like, is there a plan about this? And so I'm just very confused on life in general. And I just want to let you know that that's okay. There's okay to have times where you don't know what's going on and you're confused and you're just completely lost because that's the whole point of God being there. God's there to be there to help you and guide you. And personally for me, this really helps with patience. I'm really, really bad about being patient. So this whole thing, especially with having to do my homework and having it be on time, it's really helping me come together as a person.